So I try to film this while walking around the lake, which is what you saw in the other vlog when I said, oh, I made it into a new video because it took too long. But then the wind got in the way of that and you could barely hear me, so I decided to refilm it now. But anyways, let's just get to what I wanted to say. So has anyone used the app Time hop before, I'm guessing you probably have. It's where you connect your Facebook and Instagram and they'll be like, oh, one year ago you posted this, two years ago this, three years ago this. Well, usually it kind of just shows me how dumb I used to be because five years ago it would be like Facebook status, bed, then early morning running practice, then blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, why did I feel the need to tell the whole world that? And then of course, like after getting out of a three and a half year relationship, at least one of those three years, it's usually a picture of me and him together. So the time hop app is not always the best, <laughs> but today it just happened to be. And that is because three years ago today, I made a very big decision. And it was a decision to walk away from being a D1 athlete for the University of Florida on their track and field team. And I was reminded of that because of this time hop app. So let me just read it to you. It says, so I quoted the Bible verse Philippians 3.13, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. And then I said below it, being shown that sometimes you have to respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer serves you, grows you, or makes you happy. Cheers to new beginnings. But that quote is so powerful. Respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer grows you, serves you, or makes you happy. And unfortunately, something like running that used to be so fun for me and freeing for me turned into something that was so constricting. It just took away all my joy because of just having all the crazy schedule and not being able to pursue other things that I loved. And also just not being able to spend time with friendships and make relationships like what college is all about. And literally you can ask my boyfriend at the time or my roommates at the time, but freshman year I was in emotional head case. I'm talking couldn't sleep at night, would try to chug NyQuil, um, was just a wreck, calling my mom crying all the time. She thought I was gonna have to come home from college because I was so upset. And so in that perspective, you think, well, that was an easy decision. That wasn't a hard decision. But up until that point, you know, like my life was just as a runner, like for the last five years of my life, I had been Sarah Grace, the runner. And I'd been known as that. And that was my schedule. And I was used to waking up at 6 a.m. for practices. I was used to running 50 miles a week. I was used to my team being my friend group. And so, it was extremely hard and I thought maybe I was giving up the platform that God had given me to, and like giving up my talent that he had given me by walking away from the team. But you know, I just had to listen deep down and know that I was doing the right thing because I was following my heart. And sure enough, like walking away from being a runner that year and I was just able to pursue other things I love, like Freshman Healthy was created, and I was able to just make so many new friends and just invest time into girls' lives that I wanted to. And it was just awesome, and it's just so cool to see the truth that like, when you follow your heart and listen deep down, like as cliche as that sounds, you will never be making the wrong decision. So I just encourage everyone out there to you know, kind of evaluate things. And if there's anything, whether it be in your career, whether it just be a hobby you're pursuing, like running was for me, or anything, like if it's no longer serving you, growing you in some way, or making you happy, then respect yourself enough to walk away from it. And I just encourage you guys to kind of like reevaluate things that you're pursuing right now, or things you're doing, and see if this quote at all aligns with your life right now so and even along with that like this verse can mean so much more than even the way I took it but I focus on this one thing forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead that verse speaks volume if you messed up in your past if you had a bad day a week year or even if like you just haven't been liking the way 
you've been living or the person you've been. Tomorrow's a new day and you can start over, you can forget your past and look ahead and know that it's a new beginning tomorrow and you can be the person you wanna be. You can start living the way you want to so that you can become the better version of yourself that you've regretted not doing before. And so I just want to encourage you guys with that verse and with this little time hop app that helped me to see so much today and help remind me of such great truth. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you can take away something from it. And until next time, stay tuned to Freshman Healthy YouTube. Bye guys.